Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I literally just filmed my I saw it first haul and I still have the same glass. This is Dr. Pepper in my lovely goblet. Go and get yourself some. Okay, Whew, my breath has just run up the stairs. Please get yourself ready for my body care haul. These are the most recent purchases I've made. Um, and these are shower gels, bath bombs, body butters, and a body conditioner. So that's what I've got for you. If you're interested in watching, please keep. If you're interested in this, please keep watching. So Tommy One, I did a, uh, a joint Lush order. Let's just start off with the biggest thing that I have on my lap and the thing that motivated me, this, this sounds so dramatic, motivated me to make the order in the first place, the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Now this, there's power in this. There's, th wow, there's power in this. So it's a body conditioner, really, really creamy, buttery. The first one that I bought was a small one. It was a small tub. And I literally, I, I wasn't expecting, with stuff like this, you don't necessarily expect to use it every day. You think, oh, I'll just use it once in a while, like a body scrub, right? The first time I used it, I said, what's going on here? I couldn't stop using it, so I ended up using it every day, and I just accepted that this is just gonna have to be a monthly, bi-monthly, or tri-monthly sp uh, splurge. Um, this time, I got the big one. The big one was 30 pounds. I don't remember how much I actually paid for it. Maybe there was a discount, but, 30 pounds it kind of hurt but i have not once thought now that i've got it i've not once thought oh, it was so expensive let me use less no no i will simply just I'll, something else i have to give but this i have to buy every month um to be fair i'm realizing that i didn't need as much as i was using before so maybe this will last longer than i expect it to last but anyway let me actually talk about the product so it's a body conditioner it, the description says exquisite beyond compare beautiful damask roses fragrance the skin while hand churn shea, shea butter from ghana lavishes your body in luxury oh the shea butter from ghana see it's a match made in heaven of course i have to have it um so how to use gather a luxurious handful and sweep all over the body then gently rinse and pat dry for sensationally soft skin so the way that i use it is exactly what they say i finish my shower i get some like that all over my body sometimes i wait a bit most times i don't have time for that i don't have the patience for it so i will or sometimes i'll actually slather it on and then wash my face like my with my um face wash and whilst i'm washing my face it's doing this thing then i wash it off very like like it says very lightly pat dry and then I, it really depends when i've used it if i've used it at night and my skin's feeling a bit dry i'll put a, a, a moisturizer on top when i come out of the shower if it's in the morning, I'll always put a moisturiser on top. If my skin isn't feeling alright or I just can't be bothered or I'm really tired, I won't put anything on top. If it's in the morning and I'm in a rush, like I'm late and I don't have any time but I still feel like, okay, I need to have a shower, I'll put this on and I'll just rush. But I'll just put more on. So, yeah, it's a beautiful product. So versatile and it's really good with um, exfoliants. <sighs> after oh my gosh this is the best combo fresh wax or shave or whatever hair removal you do uh a scrub and that oh oh that day you will know peace wow it, that is a really powerful combination next time try it let me know if you try it but try it and you'll see what i'm talking about anyway moving on okay so the next thing is the avo bath mini mini gift bath bomb and the description is refreshing citrus soaks so let me show you what it looks like it's this green bath bomb it smells citrusy the avo bath mini take a soak with this bath bomb and let your skin drink up the refreshing avocado skin rehydrated mind focus you're ready for anything that sounds so dramatic so it's got fresh avocado Organic extra virgin olive oil, lemongrass oil, bergamot oil, gardenia extract, and moisturizing as well. And then obviously the lemongrass and bergamot, you can smell them. See, with me, I don't know if citrus and that kind of thing is my type of scent, but to be fair, it's not something that would linger, if that makes sense. It's not like it's a moisturizer or a perfume or something like that. It's a bath bomb. And I think maybe citrus, fresh, those kind of smells are good for relaxation, for when you need to soak, that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to this. And that was $2.95. The next one was the Shoot for the Stars Mini. Oh, that reminds me of pop smoke. Yeah. So the shoot for the stars bath bomb. 
So can a sweetly scented starry night of deep blue water topped with skin moisturising stars for the ultimate Christmas bath skin treat. So the ingredients, fair trade organic coconut butter for moisturising. This one's going to be very moisturising. It even smells moisturising, which sounds ridiculous. It sounds like I'm just chatting rubbish, but you know, it smells like things that are moisturising, i.e. cocoa butter, coconut oil, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, creamed coconut, moisturising and conditioning, Brazilian orange oil, refreshing and rejuvenating, and almond oil, moisturising and conditioning. It does smell like almond to be fair. It's also got bergamot oil in it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. Ooh, it smells like coconut. Yeah, the first ingredient is creamed coconut. It smells incredible. I'm so, oh my gosh. Wow. Anyway, um... Tommy will use this the other day and it's really glittery, that's all I know. So I assume it's really blue, really glittery, it will clog your bath. But it smells, oh my gosh, wow, I want to have a bath right now. That smells incredible, I'm really excited to use that. We both got one each, which is why there's another one in the bag. Um, I wish I got more, because make, this haul is making me want to go and buy more, which is really bad because I shouldn't be doing that because I buy it enough already. Um, anyway, I'm just having a lot of thoughts about this. A lot of thoughts about this because it's so beautiful and the scent, the scent, interesting is what I have to say. So next was the Intergalactic Mini. Mini gift bath bomb, invigorating minty nebulas. This one is very minty. And mint is not, mint, citrus, fresh blue smells. Those are really not my type. But like I said, something mint, Minty and pepperminty like this would be refreshing in a bath, I guess. So, yeah, why not? Um, it does look glittery as well, so it's interesting. I just hope it's not one of those where you put it in there and it explodes in glitter because, please, I really don't need that on my body. But I'm excited to use that as well, just because I feel like it will... I assume it's got peppermint oil in it, which is good for relaxation and all that. So the Intergalactic Mini, it says, best-selling bath form in mini form. Blast off into sparkling dark waters and be refreshed, refreshed with a scent that lingers all day. Run the bath and gently place it into warm waters for a stellar soak. Mm, that scent that lingers all day part is scaring me because like I said, I don't like minty, citrusy, green, blue smells. And I would not want to smell like mint all day. But I'll just douse myself in perfume so that <laughs> I don't smell like it. Uh, okay, I was right about the peppermint oil being in there. And it's there for being stimulating and refreshing. Vertiver oil, smoky and earthy, grapefruit oil, uplifting and cheerful, and popping candy. Add a little pop. So this one is gonna be, you're gonna feel it on your skin a lot. You're gonna feel the tingling from the peppermint and you're gonna feel pop, 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 pop on your skin. Oh my gosh, remember when in secondary school, boys used to throw them crackly things at people. Psycho behavior. That is actually psycho behavior. Why, now why would you chase someone for somebody walking past, wearing tights, and you're throwing things that explode, mini things that explode at their legs, are you... That's not normal behaviour. But anyway. And lastly, but certainly not least, is this one. Ooh, that's nice. It's this pink one. This is the Groovy Kind of Love Mini Gift Bath Bomb. Yeah, they describe it as refreshing and juicy. This one is also still 50% off. I'm very interested. Okay. Christmas gift exclusive mini bath form brings peace, love and positivity. Rosewood and bergamot will lift anyone's festive spirits. So you're meant to run the bath, drop it in, and that's it. And the oils that they have in this one is rosewood oil, bergamot oil, lang lang oil. Ooh. Those rose, bergamot, lang lang, those are my types of smells, which is why I like this one so much. So it came in this box. Um, so from the body shop, I like their shower gels. They're really, they're not too drying. They smell really nice and the scent lasts for quite a while. And I feel like for the price, I'm getting a reasonable amount, you know, for how long it lasts as well. Their body butters, so I, ha I haven't used their body butters for quite some time now. I used to use their body butters maybe in first year uni. I'm in third year now and I thought you know what because my shower routine has changed a bit I'd either use a body conditioner in the shower or a sanctuary spa moisturizer where you put it on your wet skin and then you pat it dry so 
I have that extra step in which I will have something moisturizing but I still need a moisturizer on top which is why I've gone back to the body shop moisturizers because I feel like they are moisturizing not the most moisturizing but they're moisturizing enough so that when it's layered with something else it's perfect and they smell nice so yeah that's just my reasoning as to why I've gone for them um, so I'll start off with I'll just go in order of what's on the receipt I'll start off with the winter jasmine body butter 200 ml so on my receipt it says that it was £10. I bought this because I like jasmine, sandalwood, oud, those kind of smells. So I thought, you know what, I'm sure this will be nice. Um, but this smells, it smells like, I mean it has got like greens and stuff, but it smells like pine. So I get where the winter part is coming from. And there is like a little bit of a jasmine smell as well. This one is moisturising but it's quite firm. You can see where like I've, I've been using it. It's very emollient. Let me just feel my skin. Um, how many hours ago did I shower? I feel like it was like four hours ago. My skin feels really soft which is great. Ooh, my nose ring just fell out. So let me just um, swatch it for you a bit. So like me doing all that, only a bit comes out. So that just tells you how firm it is. And on the back of my hand... It sinks in quite quickly. It doesn't really leave me greasy, but to be fair, the whole greasy thing, I feel like I don't care. Yeah, I just, I don't really feel like I get greasy on my skin. And even if something, I would, I just wouldn't describe the feeling of having product on my skin as greasy. Like, yeah, this has sunk in really well. You can see it leaves a nice shine, moisturizing. And it's a nice scent it's nice light yeah okay let's move on so i also got the fuji green tea uh replenishing body butter oh this is meant to be a softening body butter this is replenishing body butter this is also 200 ml now this one the texture is very different so again you can see i've used both of them i just got bored of using this one and decided to use the winter jasmine one today but um so this one is aloe no no it's not it's green tea this one's green tea it has a very strong scent and i'm not 100 percent sure that i love the scent um it's quite a fresh scent and i just that's just not me you know what i mean so this one you can see is a lot creamier uh, i'll put it on my the back of my other hand so like that and i find that if if anything this would be the one i would describe as greasy with me I, i'm very very generous with my moisturizers because i don't like dry skin but with this one if i put the same amount that i would of my of any other moisturizer this would be too much this would be greasy like it would leave uh not a film but it, it would just be too much so just when you're using it just don't use as much the scent is it's just very strongly smelling of green tea and i don't know if i like it but it's actually it's not by force next time i'll just buy a different one so it's not that deep oh i didn't tell you the price so on the receipt this one is 10 pounds the winter jasmine one and this one is seven pounds 50. so the next thing i bought was the british rose shower gel i remember being in like i feel like it was probably the year eight or something and i remember one it was one of our friend's birthdays we'd always go in to the body shop and buy like minis either it would be like the mini lip balms or the mini shower gels or like a mini set um because i mean what else could we afford and it was like a cute gift and i remember getting one of these and i remember uh i remember british rose smelling really nice so i thought you know what let me get it again and it does smell really nice and i feel like this goes really well with my um, body conditioner from lush a beautiful scent the scent lasts reasonably well i don't expect a shower gel scent to last all day because that's it's not going to <laughs> like there's no there's no point expecting that i just expect it to linger a little bit on my skin which it does it's not drying at all it's very moisturizing actually um and yeah it's just nice i've used quite a lot already though to be fair because I, I don't i'm not sparing when it comes to my shower gels this is gonna run out quickly but that's fine because i can just get another one and that was 6150 apparently and then the next one i got was the spa of the world tahitian tra 
bath and shower oil in gel 250 ml the rose one was also 250 ml so this one was eight pounds 50 and this is meant to be like their spa line or something so that's why it's more expensive this does smell nice blissful bath and shower oil in gel i mean it looks nice but i haven't tried it yet so i don't i can't you know say what it's like but the oil in gel part does make me feel like it's gonna leave a moisture on the skin which is very interesting because like i said with my body conditions and stuff i'm really liking extra moisturizing steps and not relying on just my moisturizer to do that so we'll see and the last thing i got from the body shop i think this one was an add-on just to meet the minimum delivery price it's the moringa buff bubble bubble uh bath bomb i assume it just comes in this packaging this packaging is a bit ugly i can't lie but um i really like their moringa scented stuff so before this i had the moringa shower gel and i'm definitely going to get it again i also bought the moringa bath what's it called bar soap which is like really 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 good like if you feel like you need to bath you need to bath <laughs> that's the product you want to use because it really does get all the dirt away but the problem is it is very drying so but then again it's not that deep for me because i use other things in my shower and after my shower before i moisturize that stops my skin from feeling dry anyway so it's not that big a deal but back to this um I, obviously i haven't used it but it's just a, a bath bomb i mean all it will all i can really test it for is how much it lathers and the scent i know the scent's going to be nice because moringa stuff their moringa stuff is really really nice and i assume i don't know i can't really speak on the lather part can i but that's all there is for the body shop that's the end of my video let me know which of these you have your eyes on let me know if you have any recommendations for me because i'm always on the hunt for new um body care fragrances that kind of thing i like trying new things so please let me know you can contact me on my instagram which is in my bio uh, description box in my description box uh and you can also comment down below but thank you very very much for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye